All right, what's up, everyone? It's another edition of Jeremy Struggles Through Standard. Um, I've played a little bit in the week since last. Um, not a lot. I plan on playing a good amount this weekend. Um, I do have some traveling to do. But uh, the black-green dredge or black-green deck in standard right now is really not a good matchup for this deck I don't think getting up to like Pelucanos into Pelucanos into Pelucanos is a uh, difficult thing to deal with for this deck because I don't have a lot of ways to do five damage I have none well this is an easy decision Shuffler took all that time to give me that pile of crap. Uh, no, I won't mulligan here. So for red-white devotion, oh golly, hopefully it's not another oh, Thoughtseize. I don't know what he takes here. Temple of Triumph maybe? Boros Reckoner. Of course he takes the Boros Reckoner. But I've got another. Now we want to scry. Hopefully to get a two drop. We did. A more ideal two drop would have been a Ash Solid, but such is life. Thoughts ease into Mutavolt. What do we got going on here? Mono black. Burning tree into nothingness. I still think that's the right play though, right? Because next turn, hope ideally it's Boros Reckoner into Mog Fanatic. I don't think he activates his Mutavolt here to trade with my Burning Tree. Plays a Swamp, passes the turn. Interesting. What removal do you have, sir? Honestly, if he wants to trade a land for my Burning Tremissary, I'm fine with that, I think. Okay, Devour Flesh. That's what he had. I've played this deck before. We can beat this deck. As long as we just keep drawing gas. <laughs> keep drawing gas. Because we have to survive his army of removal spells. As I'm sure we will see yet another here. Hero's Downfall. Okay. I think I'll play the weird here. No rush on the Mogus. Um, gives me something to play next turn if I don't draw land. Drawing a land would be ideal here. He's already used three pieces of removal. Where's the Desecration Demon? Dig for that demon. Dig for that demon. Dig for that demon dot deck. Well, whatever it was, he put it on the top of his library. 
One, two, three, Underworld Connections. And he pays it. To go get whatever it is card that he wanted. Assuming it's a demon, but I could be wrong. Land. Ah, poo. Um, I'm going to go Ash sell it here. And double pump the weird. I think that's the play, right? I think that's the play. Into next turn, potentially. Again, I say potentially. Um, if I draw land, it'd be nice to play Storm Breath Dragon. Um, if I don't draw land, I think we just play the Mogus at this point and say it is what it is. Double Mute of Alts. One, two. Three Night Vale Spectre. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Um... I think we swing here. Pump once, play the Boros Reckoner. Taking our devotion to seven. Um, yeah, our devotion is at seven. He goes to ten. Uh, I play a land. Well, if I see demon here, if I see the demon here, um, I probably play my dragon and then try to mogus for oh temple of triumph. Okay, that's fine. He plays my temple. There's a kick to the plums. But he gets a scry and then he can take whatever card he wants. A thought sees right here would be pretty brutal. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, well, let's see. If he if he doesn't draw okay show me potato salad gray merchant five point life swing I th think now I hope for a land Chain to the Rocks is okay too. I think we chain. I think we chain the Gray Merchant and swing team here. Three, four, five, six. Um, no, I'm gonna give her to the Night Vale Spectre. Could definitely use some of those uh like lightning helix or something. Let's see. You know, maybe I should have saved the chain there to see if he could get uh so I could deal with desecration demon. Not sure.
He's down for the trade. I think I trade here. Because if he's got another gray merchant, I'm just not a fan of... I mean, we both lose two devotion. It's probably a, a fair trade for him. But... It's 13 all right now. He certainly is playing pretty slow. He's drawing his face off right now. I imagine, I mean, Where's the desecration demons? How does he not have that? We're definitely deep into this game too. Doesn't he know I'm trying to record a YouTube video? Come on, dude. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I declare a desecration. Oh, whip of Haribos. Okay. Be nice to draw land here. It's getting a little uncomfortable for me out there. Come on, dude. I've played this deck before. Could use a land here. I really can't stall anymore. There we go. Um. So he's got, he could double block down on my Ash Salad, I suppose, but I don't know if he does that here. Yeah, he probably does. Or at least chump it. No? Well, he goes to four. One, two, th I have lethal in hand, but I mean, no matter what he draws, I should be okay. Uh, even if he has some spot removal, I have enough devotion to finish him. Where I get into trouble is if he whips out his <laughs> whips out his gray merchant. That's the only thing in his graveyard right now that I have to worry about. Desecration Demon, I'm fine with that. He could still whip out his Grey Merchant. Excuse me while I whip this out. So it's going to swing for what? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. He goes right back up to 12. That's pretty saucy. I don't know if I have enough to get there now. Uh, it'd be nice if I top decked a. Be nice if I top decked. Oh boy, he gets a 14. I forgot it has a lifelink too. Golly. Um, I need to do 14 damage this turn or I lose. Um. What do I have? Let's think about it. Four. And three is seven. And then I play the Moga seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think I just get there. I think I just get there. My math, if my math is right, we play this, we take them to two, five, six, seven, eight. So we take them to six, and we're swinging for seven. That should be game. If my math is correct. Yes, I would. Sacrifice the Mogus. That's, I think, the better player there, right? Just in case I miss something. Swing team. We win. All right, that was a good game. Uh, I think we bring in the wear and tear. Um, I think I'm going to drop. A Mizium Mortars and a Chandra. I need to be able to get rid of the Night Vale Spectre if I don't have a play too. I think I'm gonna drop two weirds for two War Leaders Helixes. And we're gonna go to game two. The real question here is if I can actually plan for a Thoughtseize. <laughs> you know, um, when I win with this deck, it really isn't because of Perforos. I think this deck could be okay without him. Like if you drop Perforos and, and played like more Leader's Helixes instead, this deck might actually still be mediocre. Um, since we know it's a Desecration Demon, maybe we'll drop in another Chain to the Rocks here. And drop a Perforos. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go four Chain to the Rocks, one Perforos. It just seems like against this deck. Granted, we did... Uh, Oh, you know what? I should really put in Assemble the Legions, too. Shoot. Oh, I didn't have time. Well, if I end up losing this one, I should, so I can uh, have a sack outlet to keep his des Desecration Demons tapped down, right? Uh, this is not a great opener, but I'm not going to mull. Hopefully we rip a uh, shack or a Skyland up the top. All right. Well, we have plenty of chain to the rocks. Now we need a a planes to the rocks. Waka waka waka. God, I hate whip of arrows. Fortunately, I have an answer in my hand for it. It's probably not optimal to have it in your opening hand, but at least I know it's there. At least it's not like turn four and I'm praying to top deck it after he puts that thing out. Oh, there goes my wear tear. <laughs> well, at least of my best cards, I've got two of each. He can take a storm breath or he can take a chain of the rocks or he can take my wear tear if he thinks I only have one. That might be the pick for him. If you want to prevent his, uh, protect his, um, whip of Erebos. Oh gosh, it'd be nice to get, um, a nice playable here off the top deck. A planes obviously would be nice too. He's got some decisions to make here. I don't know if Thoughtseize is the greatest thing to play against this deck. 
Maybe it is. I don't know. It's just... You're kind of playing aggro. He took a Storm Breath. Okay. You're playing a pretty aggro deck, and then you don't really want to be taking life. But then again, he's got lots of life gain in his deck, so... He's probably alright. Sacred Foundry. I'm going to go ahead... Boy. I'm just going to play it tapped right now. We know what his deck's going to do, right? We just got to be able to deal with Desecration Demon, which I could have done a better job sideboarding. I think that's why I assembled the Legions in this sideboard, right? Just have something to deal with it. But uh, this way, turn four, I have something to deal with it. Night Veil Spectre, turn three. Okay, Boros Guildgate, that's not great. I think we go Burning Tree Emissary into... I think we'll chain this thing to the rocks, right? Because we're not in a position to get rid of it right now in any other fashion. Then we're gonna... I don't know. I want to play the Guildgate. Because you know what? Later, I think, and you guys can tell me if I'm just um, if I'm just dead wrong on this, but later, I don't want to be waiting on a guild gate. Like, if it's turn four going into turn five and I have a chance to play my Storm Breath Dragon, but I have to wait for a guild gate, that seems not great. Dooby dooby doo. So how are you guys liking the standard play? Obviously this particular match is a little slow, but I'm really happy that I won it because I have to travel soon, well at least at the time of this recording, and uh, I'd like to get some good, um, good gameplay video ready, and Friday's coming up, and I won't have any other time besides today to get it, so I uh, really need to I need some good matches. Uh, the first, the first match, the first game was pretty good. I think that uh, served as entertaining for you guys. I hope it did. Now we've seen Underworld Connections. Tap to draw a card. Um, I think here I'm gonna go. Uh, do I really want to get rid of... Because I'd like to wait for his Whip of Erebos and just get rid of it, but... This seems okay, too. We'll play the Burning Tree right now. And we're going to get rid of his Underworld Connections. I mean, I'd rather get rid of Whip of Erebos, but... Why can't I cast this? Oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. At least we'll drop some devotion from him. I don't know. Maybe that play wasn't great. But I figure we can drop, devo drop two devotion next turn we can play storm breath dragon although we know see the i think the way that we beat this deck is we get out early with a bunch of creatures that he blows his removal on in this particular game he hasn't used any removal and the and the first creature that he's really going to be worried about is going to be my storm breath dragon and that uh it's like I know he has removal for that. That's kind of frustrating. So I don't know what the play is here. I mean, I guess the play is to play it, you know, unless we draw something that is that we can play instead to try to draw out some of his removal. And I'm just thinking out loud, you know. Uh, Gray Merchant. So it was an okay play to get rid of that thing, right? OK, 
Okay. Mutavolt, Storm Breath Dragon, go. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure he has removal, but what am I supposed to do? Not play it, right? At least I've got currently two creatures out. Um, so Devour Flesh doesn't work. He'll have to use Hero's Downfall. Or Doomblade. I'm not sure what, what he has. I'm sure he has something in the four cards he has in his hand. But I think that, that Grey Merchant play at that stage of the game says that uh, we, we may have been right to kill his card draw. So it just seems like he would have rather played like Night Vale Spectre or Desecration Demon if he had those things before he played a Grey Merchant. And, you know, I hope you guys let me know if my constant, um, I'm trying to just think out loud to try to lead you through where I'm thinking. Again, I'm not a pro standard player, so hopefully uh, your guys' feedback will. Okay, Mutavolt, activates Mutavolt. Okay. Um, maybe he's thinking if I trade, then he can use Devour Flesh. Maybe he has a Devour Flesh. I'm just going to let this through if he chooses to attack. Would have been nice to have a Magma Jet uh, online there. Kill that stupid Mutavolt, but... And Scry, which would be really powerful. But I love Scry. I mean... It just helps so much, especially something like Magma Jet where you scry too. All right, well, if you have removal, use it now or forever hold your peace. One, two, three, four, five. I'm still one more from being able to go monstrous unless I pull a Nykthos. Do do do. All right, end step. How about anything hasty? Any? Give me some gas. That was gas. Good. Um. That was a nice top deck. I mean, another storm breath dragon would have been nice too. But obviously. The Ash allows us to affect the board immediately. He goes to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, we win with a Mogus and Fanatic of Mogus, but we would need to top deck it. Uh, another Gray Merchant. Okay, Thoughtseize helps him here, but not that much because he trades two life to do that. If I top deck a land, it's over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, if I top deck a land, it's over. He reveals his hand, but it's empty. Um, so red, white, heroic seems to match up well against mono black. Now, I don't know what's coming here. Ah, another gray merchant. Okay, well, so what we thought. Fan Fanatic of Mogus or another Stormbreath Dragon or land. Those are the many ways in which we can pull this off, right? Well, another Stormbreath Dragon doesn't get there. Um, a land. Yeah, a land gets there. Any land that is not a guild gate or a Skyland. A land in play gets there. Because he takes one for the card in his hand and he would take seven from the dragon. We drew land. This should be it. Oh, actually I could have activated the Mutavault too. But he should take one here. 
unless he can discard it or play it. Unless it's a thought seize in his hand, but even then he would take two. Oh wait, I did my math wrong. He only takes one. That was sub... That was maybe... No, I still should go monstrous there, I think, right? He takes seven, goes down to one. He needs a top deck removal, which he I'm sure he has boatloads of it in his deck. Um, let's see. Yeah, next turn. Um, if he has removal, it, the game continues. Uh, any fanatic amogus. Actually, I have. I uh, yeah. Okay, we win. Um, uh, the very next card was a Mizium Mortars, which wouldn't have. Oh, that would have cleared the way for me to win. So that's a really good matchup for red white humans. Uh, a red white devotion it's mono black so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and if you want me to keep doing gameplay just let me know in the comment section down below um, if you're new to the channel as i hope that some of you are and i hope the standard gameplay is bringing some of uh, you new folks to the channel um, make sure you subscribe and and let me know what you think and let me know uh how i could have played better and um you know i'm, I'm glad to have all of you so Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of our most popular playlists, everything from MTG vlogs, gameplay video, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. And if you haven't yet, here's your opportunity to crush that subscribe button to join the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channel on YouTube. Thanks again and we'll see you real soon.